Welcome back to our Community Connection now, where we're sharing stories from your neighborhood. We're highlighting Pinellas County this morning, including the surrounding areas of beautiful St. Pete Beach. We'll be covering stories from the beach development there, the tourism impact, and local businesses that are making a comeback. Major developments are underway for St. Pete Beach in Pinellas County. Yeah, the work promises to improve the popular destination, everything from beach renourishment to resort developments. But as we've been covering here on 10 Tampa Bay, not everyone is thrilled about the potential improvements. Yeah, our Sarah Rosario joins us live from St. Pete Beach. Sarah, while the changes will bring more people to that area, this has been a point of contention for quite some time now. It has, Jameson. Change is hard for people, and we've been covering these developments for months. Now there are four different hotel properties announcing plans to expand right here in St. Pete Beach. It'll bring at least a thousand more hotel rooms in just a mile stretch along Gulf Boulevard. We're live from La Quisanta this morning, a breakfast spot. It stays busy. It can benefit tourism even more and increase tourism. And while the coastline could soon be expanding, people I spoke to say they're not exactly sold on what these changes changes are expected to bring. As the water washes along St. Pete Beach's shores, the balance between growth and maintaining this community's unique character remains a critical focus. It should stay like old Florida. It's beautiful. That's why people come here. Many residents feel like Alan Levine. We don't want it to be another Clearwater Beach. We used to just go on Gulf Boulevard. Now you're in traffic uh, four blocks. It's not the best kept secret anymore. Developers don't want to keep it a secret. Known for its iconic resorts like the Don Cesar, others like the Postcard Inn and Tradewinds in St. Pete Beach are moving full steam ahead with renovations. The Tradewinds alone is a $500 million project and a new JW Marriott in Hampton Inn also recently approved as additions to the current Serrata Beach property. Our visitors had a total economic impact of almost $11 billion. Uh, so the money is, is truly well spent when we reinvested into these beaches. While redevelopment is bound to boost the economy, it sparked contentious debates with residents concerned about everything from noise to parking and traffic. It's pretty bad. It's getting worse. Resident Luke Kaprowski says he's hopeful to see what development brings to this area that he grew up in. Yeah, it's nice to get our area more developed and more people coming to enjoy St. Pete. It really is the, the tourists that we kind of bank on. And for Pinellas County, you know, it helps fund all the people who live here. You know, the bed tax plays an incredibly important role. Another major initiative is beach renourishment, like the one underway in Paso Grill. I'm glad to see that because we don't want to lose our beaches right. and our nature and our homes and all of that. And when it comes to that beach renourishment, despite being in the middle of hurricane season, work is expected to continue through October. And while the resorts and the work there, those developments are expected to take time, they'll be done in phases. It does mean a couple more things like more restaurants, more retail space, office space, more jobs. And yes, there will be noise and traffic that comes along with it. But when it comes to parking, developers are hoping to create additional beach access points. And they're also going to be building some parking garages to accommodate with the more people who will be in this area. So we're just waiting to see what this trans transformation will be like. Yes, it is going to come with some changes and it'll be tough for some people, but it is happening. All right, Jameson, we'll continue to follow it. And Caitlin, back over to you all. All right, Sarah, thank you. Time